Hi, my name is Francesco and I'm an industry solutions consultant for the retail industry. Today, I'll be talking about fueling pricing strategies with MongoDB and Databricks, and then run you through a quick demo. Let's get started. So the agenda for today is first a quick intro on why I'm focusing on dynamic pricing. Next, I'll explain what dynamic pricing is and the main focus of the demo that is finding the price elasticity. At last, I'll take you through a quick overview of the solution architecture and its different components. So why dynamic pricing? Well, 75% of retailers are using dynamic pricing. It's one of the most interesting use cases for real-time analytics, as it has direct impact over marketing efforts and their bottom line. So what exactly is dynamic pricing? Simply put, dynamic pricing is the fully or partially automated adjustment of prices. A real use case of dynamic pricing might comprise different features into account, such as supply and demand, market trends or stationality, competition and industry standards, consumer expectation and segmentation through website behavior, and inventory levels. There are different ways in which one can approach dynamic pricing. In this demo, we'll focus on price elasticity of demand. And what exactly is price elasticity? Price elasticity measures the effect of price on total sales of a product. It measures how reactive are the sales of a product to price changes. It is calculated using historic data, and it gives a baseline to decide how to optimize your marketing mix according to price. The ultimate goal will be to classify your product line between elastic and inelastic products. So as a retailer, you can make data-driven decisions when it comes to decide which products to include in your promotions, for example. In simple terms, which are the products that will be drivers of revenue if their prices are slashed? So let me get you through a demo overview. The demo will be four different stages. The first stage is the data generation stage, in which I'll mimic purchase happening on an e-commerce storefront application. I'm going to start a generator file to mimic the input of purchase events into our MongoDB Atlas collection, our cloud native database. The second stage consists of the aggregation stage, in which using MongoDB Atlas aggregation pipelines, a specific flow of operations that processes, transforms, and returns results together with app services, which are built to help you run code, integrate apps, and connect to your data, you can orchestrate powerful real-time data transformations and data integrations with different platforms through, for example, HTTP calls. Moving along with the data analysis stage, in which you'll see how to integrate the intelligence layer built on Databricks with the rest of our solution. And at last, the data visualization, where you'll be able to see in real time how data is changing and being analyzed using Atlas charts its native data visualization tool. Here, you can have an overview of the architecture for the solution. Between the different components we'll use, we have MongoDB Atlas, in which we'll ingest the e-commerce events. Then, we'll use MongoDB app services, over which we'll instrument a set of triggers and serverless functions based on aggregation pipelines first, to automate the data transformations from raw events to an aggregation purchase log. And second, using app services again to serve the transformed data via an HTTP call into notebook embedded clusters over Databricks. So we'll be able to run machine learning at scale and in real time, effectively endowing our solution with an intelligence layer. So let's start with the demo. So the first thing I would like to do is showcase how the data looks like in MongoDB Atlas. As you can see in our Ecom events database, we have the cosmetic collection. This is receiving the raw events of an e-commerce storefront. So we have four different types of events that it's uh, when a customer views a product, when they add it to the cart, when they remove it to the cart, and when they finally purchase. So the shape of the document, it's like this. As you can see, we have a timestamp, an event type, product ID, a specific price and the rest of the product information. What we want to do is to also have, have a purchase log. So what I care to do is group the data by product ID and then 
have all the historic data of the different price points and the total sales and the revenue revenue generated. Then I would like to compute the price elasticity over Databricks and add it back here into the same collection. So how will we orchestrate all that? So using app services, you can configure different triggers together with functions. So we orchestrated in a way that to compute the purchase log pipeline, we can showcase how to every time there's a new inserted document into the raw events collection, we're going to fire up the function, the purchase log pipeline function that looks like this. So as you can see, what I'm doing is for every time that there is a product event aggregated or inserted into the collection, what I'm doing is running this aggregation pipeline in which by the last product ID, I am computing the purchase log. Then after this, coming back to the triggers, I would like to call the pricing model. So every time there is an insert or update in the purchase log collection, I'm going to fire up this function that what it's going to do is push the full document into Databricks, compute it there on the model endpoint, and then I will get back the price elasticity and I will add it in the same collection, in the same document that I just sent to Databricks. So how does it look like in Databricks? Here you can spin up a cluster and write your Python code in your notebooks that are embedded into that cluster. So here with very simple Python code, you can create your machine learning models and then decide to register them as experiments, as you can see here, and then decide which experiment you want to deploy to an endpoint, as you can see here. I'll get the URL for the endpoint. And it's what I'm using in the function to call the pricing model. So in real time, how does that look? Here I'm using a generator file and for this specific product ID and this specific brand, what I'm doing is slashing the price by $1. So just by running this generator file, I'm going to be mimicking the purchase of this product every two seconds. Fire up. And as you can see here in this category lead dashboard that I've built using MongoDB charts, we can see in real time how the data is changing. So we can see pretty basic data like the total sales today, the total revenue for last week, last month, the historic total sales and revenue, and then categorized by brand, top 10 products by sales or by revenue, and the daily revenue by categories and the relationship with the sales. So as you can see here, this was our product. And what we want to do is compute the price elasticity for such product. We're retrieving the data. And there we have it, the price elasticity computed at minus eight with the rest of the data in real time. So the demo is complete. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our industry solutions team at the mail you see on screen. Bye.